People are able to do less than my grandfather, even though they have more education. As you see here, I have a correct sentence structure claim. I'm going to do a couple things with this to illustrate some grammar mechanics. So we start out with cause. For is the cause of this claim. Of is the concern of the claim. We have our two points because you need two points with which to draw a straight line. This point is the for. This point is the of. Now we can drop our verb of the thinking in to move on to our possessive and our next concern in the claim. So you have cause, concern, and now we can put our verb of the thinking in here. Is the verb of the thinking going to be plural or singular? The plurality or singularity of a verb is entirely contingent upon plurality or singularity of the fact in the cause section of the claim, not the concern, the cause. So therefore we have a singular word claim. So the verb is going to be is singular because there are two verbs in the language is singular and are plural. So now we move into the possessive of the claim. With the certification, and then we have another concern because of is the concern positional of the testimony with the sensation and with the cognition. This is a possessive, possessive of the testimony, which is the concern of the certification. And the authority is by the claimant's part. The authority positional is by. So you have four cause of concern of concern with possessive with possessive with possessive connected by a conjunction and in the authority which is by so to go back into this now we're going to talk about more about the plurality and singularity of the verb what if we say for the claim of the claims. Now we have a plural verb because the cause fact is plural. And now we can talk about the apostrophe. An apostrophe denotes possessiveness. The claimants, and that's singular, claimants knowledge. It's the claimants knowledge. The claimant uh, possesses the knowledge. If you want more than one claimant, then you would put the apostrophe after the S. Now it's more than one claimant. So for the claims, the claimant's knowledge, claimants possessing the knowledge. Here's another interesting thing. For the claimant's knowledge of the claims are the claimant's knowledge. Now we have a plural claimants possessing knowledge. This is singular. It's not knowledge as, it's knowledge. It's a singular condition of state. Therefore, the verb would be is. The claim is knowledge of the claim is, but the certification of the testimony with the sensation and cognition by the claimant parties, backwards, for the claimant's parties. Now, this becomes the cause. And what is it concerned with? of the sensation and cognition. Now we drop our verb in. And guess what? Going backwards, we have a plural cause. So now the verb becomes are. Are with the testimony of the certification with the claims by the claimant's knowledge, period. So we've covered apostrophe. We've gone over the sequencing, cause, concern, verb, possessive, concern, possessive, authority. 
and the verb mechanics. So I think that about covers the little, little basic tidbits that I may or may not have gone into detail about in the past. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions about the grammar here, feel free to reach out to me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com.